So one of the best reasons to have nodes set up on your Mac or PC is the ability to run a server uh, from your local dev environment. And in this video, we're going to check out HTTP-Server to do just that. The first thing we need to do before we get started is install the package. And we'll use NPM with that. And we're going to install it globally so that we can use it uh, from a command line. So what I'm going to do now is open up my terminal. And I'll zoom in a bit. Oops. I'll resize this. It's a little easier to read. And I'm going to type npm install http server g for globally. And then I'll just hit return. If you see this message here, um, you might want to try running the command again as an administrator. So I'll type sudo and then um, actually I'll just hit the up key and then with control, excuse me, option, I'll move over and then I'll show you the full command again. Again, if you see this error, you'll want to um, try the command again but with sudo. And it's going to ask you for the password. Let's just type it in and hit return. And now it should be working. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I need to create a folder. And I'm going to run a server from that folder. And to do that, I'm going to type out mkdir, make dir. And I'll just call it uh, server test. And then I'll CD into that. And what I'll do now is I'm just going to start my text editor. And I'll create a new file, just a simple index.html file. And I'll save it into my dev folder. Server test. Index.html. And using Emmet, I'll get a quick document set up. Whoops. OK. H1 server is running. OK, so I'll save that. And then I'll switch back to my terminal. And I'm just going to type HTTP server. I'm going to click allow. So what it will tell you here is that your server is running on these two different addresses. Also, it says that it's serving from the dot forward slash, uh, which is just the root of the directory that you're running the command in. Let me go ahead and copy this. And then I'll just switch back to Chrome. And I'll paste it over here. And you can see the index.html file that we created is now running. 